the most current project of the truck camper project is developing a better way of securing the camper to the truck. So far, all we have been using are ratchet straps and there's one at each of the four corners of the truck camper. Dave's going to create an additional way of securing the camper, which is connecting it to the frame of the truck. These are an assortment of parts. We went and stimulated the economy again. There's two holes in the, in the bumper support underneath there. Mm -hmm. I can put these through. And we're gonna put a cable strap from here to the corner of the camper on each side, the bumper to the corner, bumper to the corner. Uh -huh. And then there's uh, two T slots in the frame down here. Yeah. That line right up at the area in between the cab and the truck. I'm gonna make a bracket that comes out here and you'll be able to just go straight down to the frame in here. Hopefully, let's see if this Hopefully. <laughs> I said it's gonna be a little trickier on this side, but I can do it. You're gonna create a bracket? Some sort uh, of a bracket I'll that's gonna... A bracket. That's gonna hook to the truck? No, hook to the frame. And... So you're gonna do the back first? Yeah, because I'm it's do easier. The back first. It'll be easier. Then I'll get the cutting on the cables and everything, how much tension I'm gonna need. And there's a little more room over here. I'll take this shackle. Uh -huh. I'm gonna go through these two holes. Oops. Like this. And here. And then attach the cable to here, and it's gonna go up. And go to an eye bolt on the camper through the through the crack between the uh, bumper and the tailgate. Okay, so the eye bolt will be in here, mm -hmm. and then the turnbuckle, and then the hook to the frame down there with the cables. And that's not going to interfere with the closing and opening of the tailgate. That we're using it's rated for 1400 pounds and there's going to be four attachment points four different sections of cable it's coated got a vinyl plastic coating okay what's happening <laughs> gotta make something that i can bolt to the frame that kind of it's going to come down low enough so i can incorporate these hooks underneath there it's gonna have to go around the parking brake on this side and the cab mount on the other side. So, so you're in the you're engineering right now. Yeah, in the design phase. Is that your homemade bolt stringer? Yeah. I'm not sure I want to get this wire somewhere, you know. Face. 
Third time's a charm. Mm -hmm. Hopefully. I made this. What's that gonna do? It's, there's a uh, the flange or the the carriage part uh -huh. sticks out and it's just bottoming out. I can't thread tighten it anymore because uh -huh. the, I didn't think I need it, but I guess I do. Oh well. Did you debug that one yet? Yeah. Okay. Always well, gotta check your gloves around here <laughs> could be some sort of creepy crawlies in there Dave's about to weld what is to become a front bracket for securing the camper to the truck come with me here I will show you Dave's welding project what happened here? I don't know. I was welding really good and I was burning away and all of a sudden... All of a sudden the... All of a sudden I found out I was <laughs> welding the ground clamp to the bracket. Nice. It's on here really good. <laughs> it's a good weld. Mm. Now I gotta grind it off. <laughs> Be shimmed out with the washers to where it's gonna be because then when that side goes forward a little bit, this side's gonna go back a little. I painted the bumper, the front bumper, which is this massive steel cow catcher, as we call them in Texas. Good for another hundred thousand miles. This is going to go here, bolted and screwed on. The cable will be on there. It's going to be adjusted with washers on the inside so it can line up with the uh, strap hole on the bottom so we can get it as straight as possible through them. Today we are putting the jacks back on the camper and we're going to raise it up over the bed of the truck because we have some work that we need to do and we have to uh, be able to access some places where we can't right now with the way it's sitting. Someone said our jacks look scary. Are you scared? I ain't scared. Me neither. <laughs> come through with these brackets it will be through this metal and it will have the screws hanging onto it into the wall and then the bracket it, part of the bracket that I'm putting on the outside attaches to this part of the wall so I'll be attached to both walls with metal see this plug that's to the drill and we're running it off of the battery that's and solar that. and that's our inverter We've got all three jacks pretty much fully extended. They go up 24 inches here. And I've shown this before, but just again here, this is a tripod configuration. At the moment we are 
working on the, I would call it like a sled or a skid that's gonna go underneath the truck camper between the camper and the bed of the truck. And this is to raise it because the first time we put this on here, we realized quickly that it was almost like touching. And you could slide a sheet of paper between the bunk part of the truck camper up here and the uh, top of the truck, but that's just a little too close. So this is our solution to raise it. in there. So our objective now is to be able to have enough room to put screws and bolts everywhere that they have to go. And we're discussing what that's going to require as far as moving the truck. Do I know what you need? No? No. No, yeah. I didn't think there'd be something in there. Okay, we just had to do some wiggling of the truck. We don't really want to pull the truck out from underneath it. Dave's got a drill here, so he's he's got to be able to fit it in that space. Anyway, so we finally were able to wiggle it enough that we got this corner kind of hanging cattywampus off the side of the truck enough to get the drill underneath. I want to see how the bolts fit inside. Shut it down. Everything's creaking. In addition to these modifications that were made, that these brackets and all of the cable and stuff that Dave made, we're also going to have some redundancy because we're going to use these ratchet straps and they're going to be attached at a different location, both ends. So hopefully, you know, we'll be camper will be on the truck and stay on the truck until we take it off. The new method to secure the truck camper that Dave devised is up and running. And here we've got the, this is the back piece and you've all seen how that was attached down here underneath, basically to the frame of the truck. It's like to the part where the bumper attaches. Then up here we've got this going on, going down in between the truck and the bed to a hard point that is attached to the frame of the truck. We have been using this. We've been driving with the truck. It's been working out so far so good. We'll be checking these probably every single time we stop somewhere because I think that's just probably a good idea for anybody to do. And we'll let y'all know how it all goes.